Hi everybody, it's JoJo. I'm here to film a mukbang, a breakfast mukbang. So good morning everybody. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now, so good morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring morning. So I have a big breakfast going on here. I am eating blueberry waffles with fresh blueberries on top of maple syrup. I'm also having, um, this is a TV, uh, not a TV dinner, but like a breakfast dinner on um, frozen food aisle cold small ones and it's like potatoes and scrambled eggs. Gonna have that with the ketchup and then I'm gonna have of course this with the waffles. I have a orange pineapple juice in the cup and I also have some Fiji water. <clears throat> okay so I have a lot to discuss girl. A lot to discuss. This is a brand new uh, maple syrup so so good morning. Let me know what you guys are eating for breakfast this morning. Let me know. Yes. Are you guys going off to school? Are you guys going off to work? Like, what are you guys doing right now? <clears throat> okay. Okay. And the scrambled eggs of the ketchup and the sinkin. All right, so let's start eating. I love it. These are Echo waffles with fresh blueberries. It's so good. I put like fresh blueberries on top. They're blueberry waffles though. Maple syrup is sticky and messy. Ah. Okay. Oh, oh. What's all that maple syrup? So I'm filming them on an Easter Mook Bang this Sunday. This will be out before them. And um... <clears throat> so... <clears throat> this is so good. So let's discuss. So first, I want to talk about the Jeffree Star eyeglasses and the mascara. Listen, I don't want to get the mascara because personally for me, the fuck proof mascara like scarred me for life. It just wasn't good at all. And then his excuse in the video too, oh, it's because you have to move faster than the mascara. That's why it's clumpy and that's why it's not working well. No one's going to move that fast with mascara. Like, you're not going to be fucking Roadrunner with the fucking mascara putting it on. Like, people actually take the, their most slow time, the most slow time, putting on mascara than any other makeup, any other um, application on your face. Mascara takes, like, the longest and the most, like, effort because you're, like, sitting there, like, really slowly so you don't mess up the mascara. No one's going to go, like, so fast with the mascara. I'm like, this stupid excuse. And then I'm not getting his Jeff there's a Jeffree Star approved mascara because... It doesn't even look as good as... It doesn't even look that good. So, no. <laughs> Any eye gloss? No. Listen. I just feel like he could have made that formula in one of his eyeshadow palettes. You know, it just, they don't need, like, individuals like that. It's just a shimmery, glittery, metallic shade. That's all it is. And he has a lot of those shades in, um, in his oldest palette, so I don't get it, but whatever. That was his new release. Nope, let's stop. Not gonna end there, okay. Now, um, I did start working, um, 
Yes. Um, again, I'm not going to say exactly what it is because I don't want... All my friends and every, everyone knows that know me knows what it is. I don't need to explain where I work because people are nosy and I don't trust I don't trust anyone honestly I don't trust people on this on this uh, YouTube who watches my YouTube I don't trust so I'm not gonna specify where I work but I will say I work somewhere in um, clothing and fashion and uh, retail So yes, I'm very glad to start working again. The mask, I don't need to wear the mask, so I'm good off that. So that's good. I find it also. Isn't it cute? It's like spring orange cream sickle Easter nails. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. So Get a lot more bites. There's a hole in my tire. I gotta get that fixed. Girl, a mess. So, so, um, the rest of this video is going to be talking about New Jersey housewives because I got lots to say about that. Girl. I have a lot to say. This is from Tropicana. It's like orange pineapple. Oh, so that was the first quest. <laughs> That's that. Now it's just scrambled eggs. <clears throat> I love these. These are smart ones. Of course, you make your own scrambled eggs. I mean, my I always make scrambled eggs, but you know, <clears throat> it's just easy go-to breakfast when you like want to make it fast and be on the go. Okay, so, <clears throat> so, so, so. Yeah, my nails are so cute. I got them done yesterday. They're so cute. Okay. Oh, Louise. So, This is how I feel about New Jersey. First of all, the Tracy girl she is definitely... I know she's not welcome back. I know she's not. She's not coming back next season. That girl did nothing for the show. The only thing she did for the show is her hot fucking husband. That's all she did. Because her hot husband is great to look at on the TV. That's all I'm going to say. Tiki. Yeah. He's great. But that's all she brought. She brought nothing else but him. So... <sighs> So yeah, so that's that. Anyways, so I definitely think the six should come back. All six of them, they're definitely coming back. You know, the, the, I think the finale is in two weeks. They already filmed the reunion. The reunion look, sounds crazy. I know Dolores and Jennifer get into a screaming match. I know Joel Gorga gets into a fight with Teresa over Gia. So I feel about Gia. So I get her getting involved. Like, I understand that's your mother. And to be honest with you, like, I would have my mother's back too regardless. Even if she was dead wrong... I don't even care. That's one person. Like, friends, if they're wrong, I'll call them out on it, you know? Mother, m mothers and, like, parents, especially mothers, it's, like, the one person that I feel like, even if they're wrong, <laughs> you just gotta back them up, you know what I mean? 
So yeah, Gia had her mother's back, but still, like, it wasn't her place, because Margaret really, it was at the baseball game, Margaret really didn't say or do anything, you know, horrible to Teresa then. All she said was she wasn't going to wear her sweatpants. And, um, I get it, like, you know, they all wear, it's just black leggings, like, why don't you want to wear that? But at the end of the, the, end of the day, she didn't want to wear her leggings and support her after... To what Teresa did at the tree climbing uh, day. She was like accusing Margaret of causing the, the Jackie rumor of Evan cheating and, and she was starting with Margaret that of course she's, she, the next time she sees it she's not going to support her with her fucking leggings. Of course you just screamed and cursed at me in the middle of the fucking woods. Are you gonna you think I'm going to go wear your leggings? And the, Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? And she wouldn't do that with, for Margaret either. If, if, she, if Margaret was like oh wear my leggings after that fight she would not have won her leggings. Come on. But, um, yeah, I do think, which I know it's not gonna, it, she doesn't do it, but I do think that, that Teresa should talk to Gia, not in front of the cameras, but behind the cameras, like, listen, just let me, let me just deal with the woman on the show on my own way, you know, just let me deal with it on my own, and I, but I know she's not telling her that, I know she's not. Listen, okay, so I love Margaret. And I, I love all of them, actually. The only one I don't like I said I don't like, even Melissa Grummy love her. Jackie's the only one that's like, um, she can come up, go, I don't care. But I know she'll come back because, you know, she does add stuff to the, to the show. Um, but I do love Margaret. I think the only thing, I think with Margaret and Jennifer's situation, I feel like she was wrong saying that. I get Jennifer said a lot of crazy shit, but... The thing is, is that Jennifer does have a point. Like, Jennifer was commenting on things that Margaret's very open about. Margaret dug something from Jennifer's past that she was not open to, to sharing, you know, and that's not cool. So, however, at the whole situation with Teresa, I feel like Margaret is 100% right. The only, the only thing I could see that Teresa's side is that she doesn't want people talking about her boyfriend. No matter what it is, if they ask a question or not, she doesn't want them to. It's, it, don't talk about it. Okay, fine. But you're on a show, you're in the public eye, and it's all over the place. So, of course, people are going to talk about it. Of course, you know. Even if I was her, even if I was her best friend, her fucking sister, I'd be like, Teresa, what the, like, do you not see or care about this shit that's going on with your boyfriend? He's physically ab abusing his exes, allegedly, allegedly, all, all this is alleged, it's not confirmed. He's following bake from C. All this like crazy domestic abuse and whatever else and and whatever else he's what other problems that the exes are, are suing him for. She doesn't seem like she gives a fuck. Unless she she cares behind the scenes. And she's just not saying it in front of the camera. She doesn't want to, you know, put light to it or like Make it seem like she's she's not she's you know she's not unhappy she's you know she needs to make it look like she's so happy like she's in a fairy tale and it does look like that she if that's the if that's what she wants people to perceive it as I mean she's doing a good job because every, it does look like they're in a fucking fairy tale like they're very happy they moved in together in this beautiful big house he did that beautiful date one year anniversary with that fucking scroll and um. It was sweet. It was nice. I, I don't know. Like, the thing with him is that I feel like he's nice, but I feel like there's also things he's not completely being truthful about. You know? But, I feel like Margaret should have stopped um, at one point because obviously telling Teresa about this he should address this, it doesn't look right, whatever. She doesn't give a fuck. She's in a relationship with him. So if she doesn't give a fuck, then no one else should really care at that point. I know you want to have her back and just, like, try to talk, you know, try to talk some sense into her, but she doesn't give a shit. She doesn't care. She just doesn't care. He could come out the next day, tomorrow he could come out with a story that he, he killed someone. She won't, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. She's in that love bubble. She doesn't give a fuck. 
So let her live in, in that, then. Let her, you know? I hope she's happy. Supposedly, allegedly, he hunted her down. So, the story that was told to us was that they just bumped into each other in the Jersey Shore randomly one day. But allegedly, he was what he watched the show and he was stalking her at the Jersey Shore, and he knew what time and what day like not she normally goes down there, and he kind of like it preyed on her. Allegedly. But, if I was Teresa's friend, I'd be like, listen, there's some freaky shit going on with him. But, if you're happy and you don't give a fuck about any of that shit, you're the one dating him, not me. So if you if you don't give a shit, then there's no, what, there's no further to discuss it. There's no need to discuss it further. That's my take on it. But when they were in Nashville, girl, I tell you, your mother could have said boo and Teresa would have threw those drinks on her because Teresa's pissed that Margaret said anything relating to Louis's past. Which makes no damn sense because it's all over the place. And of course people are going to talk about that. You know, it's, it's human nature. No one's just going to ignore something like that and be like, oh, we'll just not talk about it. Yeah, she, she do the drinks on her and everything. The thing is, my kid's like, oh, she's an animal. She's an animal who acts like that. But she's done stuff like that, too. She has. She threw drinks on Daniel twice. She threw her husband, Marty, in the pool at a, at a party. She's done things like that, too. However, it was just so, I think, I think one of the husbands said it right. The way she did it was just so unprovoked. Like, Teresa throwing that drinks and everything on her, it was just not necessary. Like, it just was not, it, it just really, like, they, I feel like they barely even said anything to each other and she just threw all these drinks, drinks on her. And I'm just like, did I miss something? Did they edit out something? Like... All Margaret said to Teresa was that she's lying and making up stuff about about Teresa saying that Margaret's spreading these rumors or not spreading the rumors, but like kind of contacting Louis' exes to, to go to the blogs. I don't think she's doing that. I do think that she's probably like asking people like, oh, why did you hear what happened with Teresa? Like, what do you think about that? Which is human nature. Like, what do you think? Like, do you think it's true? Like, whatever. I don't think she's like going to the exes and being like, yeah, come out with this article. It's like, no. Yeah, she flew off the handle. She was pissed. She was pissed over nothing now, but she was pissed. I mean, granted, Margaret has been speaking about this shit a lot about Louie. She has. And as I said, I think she should have just respected at that point that she didn't, that Teresa does not give two fucks and to just let it go. But she kept, she did, she kept bringing it up to, to Jennifer on that one and one She kept bringing it up, like, and I get it, if you're going to talk about that, it's crazy, but Teresa is not rational at all. So you're not going to make any sense out of it. If I was mother, I just wouldn't care. I would be like, dead together, just let them be. <clears throat> if he does turn out to be this person now, I mean, Teresa's gonna look like a real idiot, but it is what it is. I mean, she does look really happy. She does. She looks really happy. I mean, she, she does, which is good, which is, I, I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's so nice. I mean, it is, I, I look at it, I'm like, 
That's a really nice though. The way they moved in together too was really nice. You know, like, <clears throat> the way he put, he didn't have to do all that. Even if he's doing it for show for the cameras, it's so cute because he didn't have to do that. Like putting the, um, I don't know, like the, um, something to remember that her, her parents buy on, on, like he engraved it on the backyard floor. You know, um, <clears throat> He does go the extra mile, and she does, you know, they seem really happy, they too. Um, maybe, maybe the things could be true about the exes, but maybe he learned his lesson, and maybe he won't do that with Teresa, you know? I don't think that Teresa would allow that, honestly. Maybe in front of the cameras, but not behind the cameras. Like, she'll, she'll pretend in front of the cameras, oh yeah, it's nice, nice. but behind the cameras, like, she, she won't take a little shit. If he really was, like, you know, doing things to her that, you know. She would not, I know she would not do, do that. She'll probably still stay with him, but she wouldn't like just sit there and take it. <clears throat> yeah, I do feel like they need to add new people, but yeah, that girl Tracy, like, it did not work out with that bitch. Yeah, she just was not... Ooh, that's why they definitely demoted her. They, were, they looked back on the season like she added literally nothing to this. And they had her head just... Because she was supposed to be main. She was supposed to be main. I don't know why they were going to make her main. I really don't. Because maybe they started off as main, but she should they should have just realized that she just wasn't bringing anything. So the next couple episodes, they're still going to be in Nashville. And then, um, it's the reunion. That's it. Another season came and gone. Very short-lived season. They filmed for, what, over three months? And they only have 12, 3, 13 episodes. <clears throat> Anything else I want to talk about Jersey? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I mean, I do think they need to add new people, but I don't think that they'll ever get as good as the, the, the six that's on right now. If they add, like, if they, if they bring someone back from previous seasons, maybe, like Jacqueline or Caroline or even Dina. Well, even Siggy or someone, you know what I mean? Like, someone from the past. Danielle, of course, but Danielle will come back. Um, Kim D should come back. She's been doing, she's been talking a lot. She's been getting all the dirt, like, everything. And they've never, ever, ever given her a peach, ever. She was only friend of one season. Like, the only other season she was in, she was only a guest. But um, I do think she needs to come back in some capacity. Some capacity, even if it is just a guest again. But I always thought Kimzee brought a lot to the show. They should have just given her a peach. Unless she didn't want, but I can't see her not wanting it. But unless she just was like, no, like I just, I just want to be like, you know, do my little thing and then come and go as I please. Like I don't want to be like main. But I don't think she said that. I think they just looked at her. I was like, no, like we can't. We're not making her main. Whatever the the the, the, the excuse was. They just didn't do it. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, like, you know, if behind closed doors, <coughs> Louis is good to the kids, Louis is good to, Louis is good to Daniel, uh, Daniel, Teresa's daughters, and it's good to Teresa, then whatever happened in his past with the exes, people just need to let it go. They just let it go at this point. No matter how horrible it sounds, um, they need to just let it go. But I know, like, new stuff keeps coming out all the time, and, like, it just can't all be lies, you know, it can't all be, like... And I know Teresa doesn't want to admit it, but I know she's probably, like, shit. It's like, in the back of her mind, she's like, shit, like, you know, I gotta, like, you know, be careful, like, this could be true, you know? But she just doesn't want to admit it, because she'll never admit that. She wants to just pretend like she's in this amazing fantasy, fantasy land. 
um, which is nice to, to, to like be blind in love and you know um, but yeah that's that um, yeah I was gonna do like um, a separate video <clears throat> oh excuse me <clears throat> this happens when I eat a lot oh <clears throat> this is a big breakfast I'm not gonna eat for the rest of the day girl yeah so the next few videos are gonna be um Easter related so it's gonna be Easter McBang I already got the Easter cupcakes and everything right there they're really cute I got carrot cake cupcakes and Easter cupcakes um, with little Easter bunnies on it. Really cute. Uh, that's going to be in the mukbang. I don't know what I'm going to eat for, like, the meal. I don't know what it's going to be. I think... <clears throat> I think I want it to be... A quiche. Something with quiche. Or, like, ham. Because whenever I celebrated Easter, we would have ham. We would have, um... Honey glazed ham with quiche carrot cake for dessert. I mean, there's not many, like, Easter-related dinner items, you know? Like, it's... It's very scarce. So, so it's like, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna eat. I make... I, I may just order, like, some type of chicken dish. I don't know. I don't know. What would you eat? What do you eat for Easter? Like, what, what do you guys... When you celebrate... If you celebrate, what do you guys have for dinner on Easter? Just... Okay, well, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, good morning again. I hope you guys enjoy your rest of your morning. And I um, hope you guys enjoy your day. I'll see you guys on Easter Sunday. Bye, guys.